Yeah, Upper Montclair, Upper Montclair, New Jersey. Good morning, everybody. It is indeed a glorious Thursday. It is November 10th. The crew is here because the Thursday crew, without even, you know, you can compare it to other shows. Would that be unfair to the other shows? It's, exactly. it's one of one, the greatest singular program of the program. And this time it's a little different cast of characters. Of course. Still gonna be the best one. It, of course it is. Because we have me, Isaiah, joined by JT, as always. Lana is here. Two nights in the summer by the cast of Sad Song. Is Storm with a Steelers blanket on the wall. It's Cam Martin. Not gonna say anything. No, I'm. I'm, 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 I'm let's go. Let's, my bad. Hey, I said. I said. Let's good real quick. You can't hear past his head. His head is a little bit too glistening. Oh, I will pop you, Mr. Clean, I'll, Mr. Clean. I will pop you. Uh, hey guys, we're gonna have an excellent day. We're gonna talk about a lot of things. A lot of election recap. Doom, doom, doom. Hey guys, very quickly though, Amina is out celebrating her birthday month in Georgia. Yeah, yeah. It was Georgia. Peach is out in Georgia, everyone. Oh, man. Georgia, Georgia might not be the best place for her to be right now with the election. Hey, oh, Walker, the comeback of the... I don't know, guys. Herschel Walker, bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Let's give you a nice little news report at 7 a.m. Uh, we'll start with world news. There's some disturbing information coming from Afghanistan as the Taliban is banning women from using gyms in Afghanistan. This is the group's most recent crackdown on women's rights and freedom since they took power of the country more than a year ago. Now, we'll head to national news, and with the midterm elections being Tuesday, the results are still going. I'm going to skip over that because that doesn't seem to be new. Um, in a state news, a police chase from Philadelphia to South Jersey on Wednesday might be connected to last weekend's mass shooting that injured nine people. The chase started around 9.30 p.m. when Highway Patrol officers spotted a vehicle at Frankfurt and Allingy Avenue that fit the description of a Honda used in two recent shootings, including the one as mentioned last week. The chase of the suspect went all the way into the woods at one point, but Evanston Township police were able to take him into custody within minutes. So we'll be awaiting the results of what happens there. And now... Guys, let's talk a little bit of weather. And I will not say those words because... I ain't about that life, but we are expecting a high of 66 and a low of 37 today. Friday, a little warmer with a high of 68 and a low of 66. However, with some rain to follow, same deal on rain on Saturday with a high of 68 and a low on 44. And Sunday, the rain disappears. But we are back to cold weathers with a high of 51 and a low of 33. Monday, a high of 47 and a low of 30. Tuesday, you get the gimmick. We're going back into the 40s next week. Uh, this week's been warm one. It's it's you know if global warming wasn't yeah. a thing, I imagine this would probably be pretty good proof of I global think I, warming. It's feeling a little racist right now. It's just like it doesn't feel right. Like I can't like it's brick outside. It's, yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's literally no, listen. It's, it's literally like, November. Like nah. it, it, it should have been like this. It should have been like this for a little while. <laughs> what are you talking about, Ken? Ah, oh, man, you do-do connection. Um, hey, we're going to move on to uh, the sports cast. So you'll say that, but you won't say <laughs> you, my sir. Listen, 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 no. listen, 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 listen. All I'm going to say is this. It's been, a, it's been a really warm fall. Like, so, it has been. I yeah. like, I don't like it. Way too warm. Like, it's kind of, I'm, like, I'm not sure if I should be happy or I should be uh, mad at science or something. Uh, but Cam, you know what I'm always happy with is sports. And uh, uh, you want to take it to the too. association? Of course, we take it to the association. So last night we got the two local teams taking on going up, going head to head. The Knicks and the Nets met up with each other. But here's the thing: it wasn't really much of a contest. Kevin Durant had 29 points and just started wilding. The Nets literally waxed the Knicks 112 to 85. On the other side of the country. We got another another little matchup between two teams that are lost and local. We still have the Lakers heading right down the hallway to take on the Clippers. LeBron scored 30 points, but he had a little, little bit of an injury, a little, little leg injury. But, you know, Paul George did the take with 29 himself, and the Clippers won 114 to 101. In the world of hockey, yes, we're going hockey with this. The Penguins took on the Capitals in the nation's capital. The Penguins lost two defensemen, but at the end of the day, didn't matter to, to anything because 
you know, they won 4 1, broke their seven game losing streak. Thank goodness. Tonight, the New York Rangers head over to Detroit to take on the Red Wings. Puck drop starts at 7 p.m. And the Ottawa Senators head up to Newark to take on the New Jersey Devils. Puck drop also at 7 p.m. And if you want to talk about a little NFL things, we got we got this week's Thursday night matchup, which features the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Carolina Panthers. That game starts at 8:15 on Prime Video. If that's a thing, eh, hopefully it's not a mid game. But then again, it's Thursday night football. So Isaiah, yeah, how you feel? How you feel right now about the uh, the whole NFL situation? Whole NFL situation. I mean, the prime footballs have been a mess. I feel like there's probably been one decent prime football uh, game this year, which I think also leads to a lot of fans thinking the commentary team is terrible. But I just think the games have just been brutal. It's like they've I been just too rough. The they've, been, they've been way too rough to uh, have have good. Like the Thursday night crew is just like phenomenal. Problem is, yeah, the games should are just be great. Awful. The games just awful. <laughs> like, yep. And my thing is, um, I feel at some point. The NFL and Amazon will probably strike a deal where they can flex games similar to how they do Sunday Night Football because something needs to change there because it's, eventually fans are just going to stop watching on Prime, I think, because why waste your time on a game that's going to be 49 or not even 49? It's going to be 13 to 10 and uh, nothing is going to happen exciting. So we'll see how that goes, Cam. Very quick, Cam, before we move on to our first story of the day, we need some spoilers, not predictions. Who's taking the game this Thursday? Well, the stars that I will say right now for me, how things have been going on, the Carolina Panthers are absolutely in shambles. So with that being said, I think the Falcons win this game 27-17. How about Arthur Smith? All right, guys, that's enough sports for now. We'll get to some more in the second hour, but we're going to start with our first story of the day, and that is indeed recapping some good old New Jersey election news. Woo, 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 woo election team yeah you, you guys we're, we're very excited about this guys i mean could be change could be good things for the state could be very bad things for the state depends on what happens herschel um, walker come back dude herschel walker should run for president no um <laughs> let's recap some of the district winners um nothing is a hundred percent confirmed but there is high percentage of reporting so you could put one and one together uh as in district one Donald Norcross won his district, um, and that's very exciting for him, as District 2, Jeff Van Drew. Uh, he's also Republican. The first one was Democrat. And New Jersey District number 3, Democratic Party, is uh, Andy Kim. He won that district, Republican Party, for District 4, as Christopher Smith takes the win. Josh Gottenheimer. How about Josh Gottenheimer, guys? What a time to be alive, as uh, 95% of the reporting has been done and he's got almost a little bit more than half of the vote hey that's my district <laughs> yeah district five uh so district six frank palone he's also a democrat New, uh, district seven thomas keen jr my district oh tough one guys uh he's republican uh robert menendez won eight bill purcell whoa not bill purcell um Hey, District 9. Donald Payne Jr. won District 10. Mikey Sherrill takes 11. And for District 12, Bonnie Watson Coleman. What a name. BWC. Now, so, I'd like to hear you guys' because um, those are just the recaps of who won or who we think is about to win because a lot of the reporting has been done. Now, how did, did you guys vote this year's uh, midterm elections? What, what, how, did, how did election day go for you? Go for me. Um, so, hey. I... Yeah, it goes to the co-host first. Oh, come on! Hey, 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 I usually do jump again. Hey, should, hey, should, hey, ah. hey, I'll hey, pop hey. you. I will pop you. <laughs> All right, Kanye. Anyway, so oh. um, Tuesday voting, I had to work while everybody was out hitting the polls, doing things. I was serving um pasta vajul and pasta vajul. Wow, and um cheese raviolis. Um, hmm. um, in terms of local elections, I'm not gonna lie, I was being a very bad um citizen. You did not do your civic duty. This is this is shameful. I know, the distasteful. The I better not hear a complaint about New Jersey political but government you know affairs. What? You know what? Until the next, you midterm. know what? That because... was gonna be my next topic of a conversation because 
I haven't agreed with that drivel since it started. I started hearing that in 2020 with the re-election of Donald Trump of people saying, if you don't vote, you can't complain. Now, I voted in that one now because it was my first year. Uh, they're I right, 18 man. in 2020. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't like either of these candidates either. I'm going to complain either way. If I vote Trump, nah, I'm going to complain. Bro. If, if I vote, you if don't I- vote. Then you don't you don't have a say because here's the thing you were working all day so was I actually mm-hmm. I got into Sirius very early in the morning did my shift got off the train drove all the way to my voting booth skipped out on like two hours at Walmart just so I could actually vote Question. and then I had to drive back to for? Walmart huh do you know the people you voted for I do actually do you know what they're about yeah do you trust them yeah. <laughs> exactly. At least I made a decision. Exactly. All right. That's that's how government. Exactly. That's the sad truth about our government affairs is that we make the decision of who's going to make my life less miserable, not even who's going to make it better. And I don't personally want to do that. Well, that's you should. It's like voting. Why would you rather die? Would you rather die by fire or would you rather die by being uh, burnt alive? And I'm just like, hmm. Those, I see- are, the those are the same thing. She would know she would set herself on fire at one point. If I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die either way. No, I, I think I'll let you roll my die. That's a, that's a nah. now the day nah. the day you give me an option. You know what? Would you rather Jake die by fire? Stop you Hold because on. you didn't Hold even on. vote. Why Hold are we on. even giving you the microphone right now? The, the day you give me the fire? option of uh, would you rather die by fire or I'm just would you rather tiny survive? Right now. Tiny you survive? Violence. I will happily choose. Will you survive? So the day you give me a candidate uh, that I can actually stand by, I will gladly vote them in. Until I don't want to hear anything. Uh, I, you, I can stand by. You no, know, hold on. When you start your show next week with Terry, you should start and say officially, my name is JT and I didn't vote in my midterm elections. Then close the show. Because how, how can you even speak on political or government affairs right now? This is disrespectful. Now, Lana, before we head into the shadow realm of Cam's room, I'd like to know, did you vote at least? I did. Thank you, Lana. Um, was, well, how was your experience? Good? Bad? It was interesting. So I didn't get to vote last year because I tried here on campus and they wouldn't let me. And because apparently at the time I lived in the same county as campus and apparently that's a problem. Uh, what? I, I don't know. They They gave me a really stupid reason. They couldn't explain it. They actually had to call somebody because oh they God. didn't. What a mess. Um. So this was my first time actually getting to vote. And I did it early because I knew I wasn't going to be around to be able to vote. Wow. I wonder who could have done that. Um, (laughs) And she's not me. (laughs) No, it was was a little awkward because I was literally the youngest one like in there in the voting. Like if you vote early, don't you just drop it off? Um, no, so like you could actually vote on the machine early. Really? I didn't know you could vote on the machine. Or I thought you just um put your your mail in ballot in the box. No. Um, so like I actually got to use the machine, but like everyone there was like in their fifties and sixties, and I was just this little nineteen. See, look at you being part of the change, <laughs> Lana. You're you're a groundbreaking trailblazer right there. I know. I was a little scared. I kind of wish my mom was. Don't who I'd vote against though. Well, JT, uh, who cares? You didn't even vote. It doesn't no, matter. But, you know, if a candidate wanted to, um, you know, I don't know, kill pumpkins, I would gladly run to the polls. Uh, no. are, we, are we done with this Pepe thing? The dude's yeah. dead. All right. Nobody cares. Nobody ever will care. Oh, JT, move on. Gosh, that's old news. Mr. Clean isn't talking. Mr. Clean <laughs> probably voted himself as well. Right, Cam? No. Ever since I, ever oh, since I turned either? 18. I didn't you vote. vote. Didn't no, I, I didn't vote. I didn't vote. All right, I don't want to hear anything. We're going to move on to the next story. This is ridiculous. I don't, you two cannot say anything when it relates to government from oh, now on. Isaiah, all right? Isaiah, 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 I voted. I told you I voted. You just said you didn't. I, oh, okay. Then carry on. How was your voting experience? I thought you said so, you didn't vote. Oh, no. I did. Come on now. So for me, I originally thought I was registered in the county. So I'm like, oh, yikes. So I was getting ready take the gun back home that's double check again i was like okay cool I'm, I'm i'm local so what i did i went right went right over to um per, uh Passaic valley high school because you know that's, that's what the best of the polls are drove over there and uh i had a lot of kids walk up to say hey you know vote, vote, vote for district board i'm like okay cool i don't know any of y'all yeah who, who are you i don't live i don't live, dude, i just go school around here they are 
I like, gotta be honest, they offered like the boards board of education people. I was like, why why am I even voting on the like, board of education right now? Yeah, that, that was for me too. And I'm just like, I don't know who any of this Oh, I yeah. saw that. I saw that. I'm like, you know what? Who who gave you stuff? Mm-hmm. Word. Also, That's there were some book. things where it's literally just one person running, and I was like, maybe I should fight yeah, somebody like, in. It was, it was like, that's obvious. So if you look ridiculous. Too, but then I was like, I'll probably would write in a fictional character, so that wouldn't help anyone. I want so, Harry Potter to represent my Harry school. Potter. I want Herschel Walker to lead our state to greatness. Now, just kidding, everyone. So, JT, let's move on to our next story. It's still right. somewhat related to the same idea, but some different updates from different places. Yeah. Well, it turns out things didn't really go as Donnie Boy planned. It was said to be a complete red wave start to finish with the seemingly popular disapproval of President Joe Biden's conservatives around the country were expecting to completely overtake the government with this recent 2022 midterm election. Former President Donald Trump was set to triumphantly ride to the Republican nomination as he prepares to launch yet another White House run. Instead, Tuesday night's disappointing results for the GOP are raising new questions about Trump's appeal and the future of a party that has fully embraced him, seemingly all at its peril, while at the same time giving new momentum to his most potent potential rival. Many Republican allies were calling on Trump to delay his planned announcement next week, saying the party's full focus needs to be on Georgia, where Trump backed football. Herschel Walker's efforts to unseat Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock is headed to a runoff that could determine control of the Senate once again. Former Trump advisor Jason Miller said, quote, I'll be advising him that he move his announcement until after the Georgia runoff. Georgia needs to be the focus of every Republican in the country right now. Trump was going to use the midterms as an opportunity to prove how successful his political influence is after losing the White House in 2020. Endorsing over 330 candidates in races up and down the ballot, often elevating ex- inexperienced and deeply flawed candidates. He reveled in their primary victories, but many of their positions, including echoing Trump's lies about a stolen 2020 election and embracing hardline views on abortion, were out of step with the political mainstream. Trump's lost to some of the uh, night's biggest. Trump's lost some of the biggest night's prizes, particularly Pennsylvania, where Dr. Mehmet Oz, who only narrowly uh, won his Senate primary with Trump's backing, lost to Democrat John Fetterman. Trump-backed candidates also lost governors' races in Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Maryland. A Senate race in New Hampshire, though Trump seemed to celebrate the latter, bashing Republican Dan Bulldog for trying to moderate his stances by backing off his embrace of Trump's election lies. Republicans have started to blame Trump for their losses. Scott Reed, a veteran Republican strategist, said, quote, I, I mean, we had a historic opportunity and Trump's recruitment of unelectable candidates blew it for us. Trump's now lost three elections in a row for the Republican Party, and it's time to snap out of his foolishness. Former President uh, Secretary Kayleigh uh, McEnany, McEnany who now works for Fox News, advised on air that Trump should hold an aw- uh, off an announcement until after the Georgia Senate runoff, saying, quote, I think he needs to put it on pause. I think we've got to make strategic calculations. Governor DeSantis, I think he should be welcome to the state, given what happened last night. You've got to look at the realities on the ground. Uh, you want to know something funny to to me, JT, right? That? Is so I was looking at how many votes people like of the name of Herschel Walker and Dr. Oz would receive, right? And as of right now, according to at least AP's uh, voting updates, Herschel Walker has 1,906,246 votes. Now, let's go on to the terrible state of Pennsylvania as Dr. Oz, the television famous Dr. Oz got 2,466,294 votes. Now, to those combined almost 4 million human beings, um, congrats on being one of the, I don't know, greatest idiots around. I just don't understand how people actually heard what they were saying. We're like, wait, you know what? Wait, That's my wait, guy. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. I looked up Oz. Fox News. Oh, my God. Listen to this headline. Trump furious over Oz losing in Pennsylvania. Blames wife Melania for the endorsement. Wow. Trump is blaming his wife. Hey, bro, this it is this is a crazier. The way <laughs> news comes to me, I just find all of this to be one big sketch. I don't sometimes I don't think my life is real when I hear things like this. Herschel Walker 
is actually going into a runoff election right now in the state of Georgia. Where are we as a country, man? I'm not, I'm not surprised that since that he's in a runoff in the state of Georgia. I'm not surprised either, Cam, but the fact that we're here is ridiculous. The fact that it's 2022 and Herschel Walker is a, is a political candidate. Yeah. Is, wait, wait, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, I had to read through it. And he's really, Donald Trump is really sitting in a room going, oh, my God, I'm so angry the Republicans are losing. This is all of your fault for telling me to endorse these people. It's always Melania's fault. Yo, Who's like, you? all right, so I'm a... I'm a <laughs> I, I'm gonna tell y'all this real quick, and you know this. This is I'm the biggest. I'm the I'm the, the biggest football junkie out here. Herschel Walker is known for a few things. One, he won the Heisman Trophy at the University of Georgia, so you know, fitting for him to, to run in Georgia. And he got traded to the Cowboys in order for them to win three world championships. That's about it. Uh, in terms of in terms of the NFL, Herschel Walker has, is not known. I just. I think we're at a point where we can expect literally anyone and anything to run for any political position within this country. Any bold this, predictions before this we pen, go to break? This pen is going to be the next president of the United States. That's a fair assessment at this point, Cam. And he'd probably do a better job than most. Uh, hot take, JT. Huh. Name one celebrity or musician that you fully expect to be running for office at some point. Not named Kanye. Not named Kanye. Not named Kanye. Too easy. Too easy. Oh, I don't even want to put this into the air. I really don't. Um, if anybody, it will probably be a Kardashian. Mm. 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 Mono? Oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> no, Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg? Side mission stat. Oh, I would love that. I would no. love that. Cam, that that's so the funny. problem. That we so start funny. saying we would love things like that, and then they do it. Then they do it every time. I, oh, I have to agree with the Kardashians. Uh, you know who I think? I think it's bound to happen at some point mm-hmm. is the giant leathery bag of skin known as Madonna. I, I feel at some point Madonna's going to do something weird like that. Um, by the time she's 103, she will run for governor of California or something. I thought you were sad to sit across from me and say, Jamie Lynn Spears. Jamie Lynn Spears? Do people still know about what she's doing these days? What yeah, was Jamie Lynn Spears? Exactly. Anyways, guys, we're going to take a quick break and uh, discuss more Jamie Lynn Spears. Cam, just mute your microphone because I, I got to play music like that. Um, Hey, guys, we'll be right back. When we come back, we got some more election coverage and a bunch of other weird stories.
here on the morning buzz what a beautiful time to be alive that was nice for what by drake what a classic that song took over the radio Rizzy. when it came out like it was non-stop 24 7 i was kind of sick of hearing it yeah. I, yeah, I was kind of sick of it too but every now and then when you hear it again you're like i understand why it was played so much um the music video had who in it who was the actress in that music video wasn't that the one where you went to the school oh no that was god's no plan. that was god's plan imagine oh, i forget her name that day. huh Imagine missing school that day. Ah, I'd be so pressed. I'd be hey, remember sick. when Antonio Brown was normal and he was doing stuff like that? Yeah, remember when uh, he was catching oh. footballs and now he's catching... Never hey, I, said, I said, that's my celebrity, Antonio Brown. Boy. Honestly, <laughs> he'd probably win. Yeah, good Lord. Oh, oh God. He's, he's a sport man. That's he's a sport right. man, yeah, sport man. That's why I don't... Yeah. Hey, guys, let's talk about slavery. <laughs> Oh. Good lord. Uh there's Whoa. really there's a hey hey <laughs> everyone. There's no easy transition to this story, everybody. Uh so slavery has finally been outlawed, guys. Congratulations. Because hey, do, 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 we, do we take a time machine or something? Like what's going yeah, on? Yeah, Cam, this is a real update. This isn't even like no this, way. This, yeah, yeah. This, this, so, you, 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 should, you sure you sure this is from uh this is, is it from June June uh, June nineteenth, nineteen sixty five. Hold on, hold on, hold on. For you, Cam, I'll do this specifically for you. This article that we are working off of was yesterday. Oh, year twenty twenty, November 9th. This is real, guys. This is the world we're living in. So, <laughs> voters oh, in four states have approved ballot measures that will change their constitutions to officially outlaw slavery or involuntary servitude as punishment for crime. The measures that were approved this uh, earlier a couple days ago could curtail the use of prison labor in Alabama, Oregon, Tennessee, and even ugh, Vermont. In Louisiana. Wait, hey, hey, your words, not mine. Um, in Louisiana, former slaveholding states, one of a handful of them that since convicts uh, convicts to hard labor. Lawmakers tried to get rid of forced prison labor, labor, telling voters to reject it because the ballot measures included ambiguous language that did not prohibit involuntary servitude in the criminal justice system. The four approved initiatives won't force immediate change in the state's prisons, but they might they may invite legal challenges over the practice of coercing prisoners to work under threat of sanctions or lost privileges if they w refuse the work. While Vermont's legislature was the first state to abolish adult slavery in 1777, its constitution stated that no person 21 or older could serve as a slave unless bound by their own consent or by law for the payment of debts, damages, fines, costs, or the like. The amendment removes that language and adds that slavery and indentured servitude in any form are banned. Oh, good. Uh, the movement to end or regulate the use of prison labor has existed for decades since the time when former Confederate states sought many ways to maintain the use of chattel slavery after the Civil War. Southern states used racist laws referred to black codes to criminalize, imprison, and re-enslave black Americans over benign behavior. Today, prison labor is a multi-billion dollar practice. By comparison, workers can make pennies on the dollar, and prisoners who refuse to work can be denied privileges such as phone calls, visits with families, as well as face solitary confinement, all punishments that are eerily similar to the ones used during antebellum slavery. Good Lord, the year is 2022. I'm gonna read that, thing? guys. This That's... is November 10th, 2022, and on the morning buzz, I never thought at one point I'd be talking about delegalizing slavery. Well, you know something, Isaiah. Oh wow, you brought out a sound effect for this. I don't really think that this should have been addressed. I don't think that I'm one of the 20 percent that was against. This decision. Oh man. Well, I'm gonna tell you why. We are going to a dark I path. <laughs> good lord. I cannot. It's like no, you brought up a good oh. point by saying like the numbers of people. So <laughs> I was looking, and I the reason we're even talking about the other day, I was scrolling through Twitter and saw screenshots of this proposal, right? And I was looking, I was thinking to myself, yeah, that's not real. So then I was like, let me just double check. You real. know, well, Elon Musk, well, you know, it's Elon good. Musk's Twitter, it's a good. lot of things can be dead but they aren't real so i was like there's no way that this is an actual thing people are voting on in the year 2022 so i researched first article that comes up from ap news and i thought good lord let me click the link and then i did some more research and not just ap a bunch of other websites were saying yeah these are actual things people were voting for and the concerning part 
is that in Oregon, right, they're voting to remove language allowing slavery. 648,499 people voted yes. So that's removing constitutional language allowing slavery. 547,170 people in the state of Oregon decided maybe we should keep slavery. What on earth is going on what? here? How are people seeing that question and then thinking to themselves, you know what? At this oh, point, that's what's making America not great. Oh, we yeah. don't have slaves is what they're saying. Good Lord, man. What is wrong with society right now? I don't get what happened. I was enjoying life for a long time. I thought things were changing. I thought there was opportunity, a brush of breath there. And then all of a sudden, things happened in 2016. But I don't know, want to exactly point to it because a lot of people started coming out as openly racist. But you start to notice a pattern. And then you get questions like this. And 500,000 people, not for nothing, openly were like, yeah, I guess we're racist. But you know what? It's okay. Because over here in Jersey, I no longer have to pick cotton. Wow. It, it, it's just it's in 2022 i can't believe it took so long so long but finally finally they don't want me on the fields anymore i get to be a house boy well no i don't know no how way. to transition no from that. Way. I, so, so wait, wait, no way some britney griner real quick. Jason, let, let me clarify this me stay making jokes at such a conversation is an attempt to point out the stupidity like it's when something sounds so stupid it has to be satire. Like this has to be have written by Trey Parker and Matt Stone, the people who wrote South Park. No, like, I didn't this think it was a real. South Park episode. This is a South Park episode. I don't care. This is South Park. Bro, episode. this is South Park on HBO, not on network television. This is oh, all next, everything yeah. goes kind of episode. Oh, because the South fact Park that this is Max. real like, government conversation, real people are voting on this. Good lord. What I will say what is next? Fun? The next season of South Park by the hit. Anyway, oh, they got, they got so um, much, so one much of their episodes of. will probably be about Brittany Griner. Will Brittany Griner be free? President Joe Biden said yesterday that he hopes Russian President Vladimir Putin will be willing, more willing to negotiate the release of WNBA star Brittany Griner now that U.S. midterm elections are over. Quote, my hope is now that the election is over, Mr. Putin will be able to discuss with us and be willing to talk more seriously about a prisoner exchange. U.S. officials for months have tried to negotiate the release of Greiner and another American jailed in Russia, Paul Wieland. But they have had zero signs of progress. Yesterday, it was also announced that Greiner's lawyer said that she has been sent to a penal colony to serve her sentence for drug possession. Griner's legal team said that she left the detention center outside Moscow on November 4th for a penal colony as prisons in Russia are commonly known. The move was unexpected was expected since she lost her appeal. <clears throat> Lawyers and loved ones usually don't have contact with the prisoner as they make their way to the penal colony and in many cases are traveling for days to weeks. A even after she arrives, access to Griner may be difficult since many penal colonies are in the remote parts of Russia. Her lawyer said they don't, don't know exactly where she was or where she would end up, but that they expected to be notified when she reached her final destination. A Russian court also ejected her appeal of a nine-year sentence last month. Ah, oh, man, JT, this situation we've been covering for a long time at this point, and nothing has really changed other than more kind of ambiguous details coming out from it. Like, the more days that go on, the less we actually know what's going on with Brittany yeah. Griner. Russia really said, you know, y'all might have finally outlawed slavery, but we won't. Jesus. Why? It's just oh, <laughs> not a fair thing to say, because this a... is real, everyone. God, this, is... this, this is seems like a sick so. joke. This is 2022. It is a sick joke. This doesn't seem... This is a stimulation at this point, man. I... The, Literally. We, people aren't real. You know? We you got, know it's crazy? Stimulation. We're, we're finally starting to um make slavery illegal. Brittany Griner, we know nothing about. And we have a whole team working on whether or not aliens are real. Think about that. The aliens at this point don't want anything to do with this. I wouldn't blame... If I was an alien... I came up here, I'd take a churro, and I'd dip. That's it. Oh, I'm out of here. You know, there's, there's theories. There's living among us, like, in secret reporting back. I guarantee they're calling the homeland and saying, take me home. Take <laughs> me home. I don't yeah. want to be here anymore. It's I hate this, it. I got to go home. Dude, it's remember Baby Jaden Smith? Man, what a it's movie. Tough. Anyways, guys, um... Hopefully, Brittany's, uh, Brittany Griner is eventually returned back home because at this point, you know, 
yeah she she had the unfortunate timing of when she went to russia and happened to have a vape cartridge with some t8 not thc something in there some kind of weed chemical combination i don't know and they smoke over there too yeah uh, it's it just um you know sometimes you gotta know the rules of what you're getting into but the fact that she's going into a penal colony seems a bit absurd at this point and um yeah hopefully biden and the rest of the government's able to get her back and i, I don't think the signs are pointing to that happening anytime soon and um not for nothing but i'm sure whenever she does come back if she comes back the media is gonna run wild with that story Oh boy, and we're talking okay. about it for a couple of months. Not even there's going to be a lot of movies, a lot of documentaries. Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, they're all going to do the same story. It's going to be wild, guys. It's going to be interesting to hear what happens. Stay anyway, stay, stay tuned for more Morning Buzz stuff when we come back. You get to hear from Kate Nixon. Oh, if I hear Kate Nixon <laughs> on this program one more time, I am going to the programming said, team and rescinding their badge. He said Thank you very program, much. Program, not program. No, it's real. Uh. <laughs> okay, kids, dad's gonna teach you how to dance. First, spread. soccer championships are slowly approaching and already i'm sure we'll be doing incredible coverage cam give me a sweet ah <laughs> muted come on cam his forehead said it for him ah cam can you get one more suey cam i don't know why you're muted you're 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 good on zoom you're just we can't hear you man uh, what it was my microphone's too low it's ah low. come on one hey i'm gonna ask again one more suey <laughs> Bro, we can't hear that at all. All right, Andrew. Taylor, I guess maybe on. you're doing it too loud. Whisper. Do yes, ASMR, so. Suey. Su no. Yes. Suey. Okay, guys. No, uh, no, we'll do more of those as we build up to the Su upcoming World Soccer <laughs> Game of Games. But more importantly, oh. we have breaking news on this program. A lady that has been harassing the show for years. A lady that's been harassing me personally nonstop ever since this program started this newest season. The lady known as Caden Nixon has finally not aired and is the greatest thing that's ever happened in my life because I don't have to hear the jabroni voice of Kate Nixon anymore. Jabroni. Oh. Well, jabroni. Nothing personal, Kate. Jabroni. This isn't your fault. Is that you're, you just happen to be the fall guy at this point, all right? Hey, Kate. We love you. Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, you know what? That... Lana, respectfully. Cam, respectfully. JT, respectfully. Jabroni's a word? Yes, jabroni's a word. I do not love Kate Nixon. In fact, no! in fact, whenever I see her, I might have beef with her. And it's nothing of her doing. She did Isaiah. her job. The rest, I don't know. Isaiah, 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 to, make, to make you feel better, um, the sports team's hijacking her show. So uh, you have vibes. What show? We're taking over the show just so we have basketball coverage. 
Ah, oh, just basketball? Oh, man. Bro, oh. here's the thing. Tomorrow, it's, it's a Dude. pretty big day. Dude. Oh. All right, all right. It's a, it's a pretty um, big day. So it's going to be a huge day for basketball. Is that it's a gonna word? Be a- yeah, it's soccer, man. It's it's the whole big thing. soccer team. Big what does it soccer. what does it mean? Um, Worry about it. Uh, You're too young. Yeah, yeah. You're too well, maybe young. one day. Too young. Once you become 15, Lana, we can start telling you information. How like old that. am I now? <laughs> Okay, seven year old line. All right. Just because you're 80 years old doesn't mean you need to rip on. I mean, I remember when slavery was still illegal. Uh, good lord. Uh, yeah, okay. let's talk, yeah. let's talk about like, Yale. Hey, this is just the news, guys. Don't hurt the messenger. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So, a former Yale women's soccer coach has been sentenced to five months in prison and fined $19,000 and even ordered to forfeit. More than five hundred fifty thousand dollars. Now, Rudy Meredith was known for cooperating with the FBI and exposing a nationwide college admission bribery scandal. While working with the FBI, he led them to the mastermind behind the scandal itself. He pleaded guilty in March 2019 to wire fraud and taking hundreds of thousands of dollars in bribes to help students get into elite Ivy League universities as soccer recruits. Now, what's even crazier that in one case. One of the recruits didn't even play a single game of competitive soccer. Oh, that's not, not because of injury. Nothing related to that. Just didn't want to play. Um, federal prosecutors and Meredith's defense lawyers had recommended no additional prison time beyond the one day he had already spent in custody. But U.S. District Court Judge Mark Wolf said Wednesday that Meredith's greed and his victims warranted a stiffer sentence. Facts, bro. Uh, Wolf, Wolf, Wolf described the victims as the members of the Yale's team who were betrayed by being cheated out of having better teammates, as well as unknown victims, young women who might have gotten into Yale had Meredith not decided to essentially sell slots on the team. Those unknown victims may have included women from disadvantaged backgrounds. What a mess. So, um, a couple things I'm taking away from this. Yeah. Number one, I look, I, I, I recognize you know, the creed this guy is from. And it's very ironic how the people said, you know what? We just have to find him. And the judge says, nah, we're going to put him in jail too. That's another thing. Um, that That's a topic for identity crisis. Uh, another topic that I'm noticing is, is looking to me like he didn't just get caught because, you know, he was doing something wrong. No, he got caught because some of the people that he like took bribes from didn't pay so what it's looking like to me is he didn't fulfill his end of the bargain and somebody snitched on him mm, no, it, hope- from my thing is he snitched on everybody he was just a player a part of the chain he was probably in the middle of the pack and then as you know people started saying things were going down he was like how am i going to reduce my sentence and he was i'm just going to tell him all y'all how you snitch and still go to jail snitched went to jail and has to pay half a million that's on you rudy they don't care about us buddy you thought you were gonna Candace Owens your way out of this situation <laughs> and look what happened to you this is um this is absolutely shameful man because a lot of people obviously as they pursue their further education they they're putting in a lot of work a lot of effort and this is like the college admission scandal with um the full house lady it's like all these people of, of rich power and rich backgrounds yeah, can just give a hundred thousands of dollars to a random coach or some school executive and their kid gets that education despite one person putting all their effort in all their lifetime into it and then they're never going to be able to get those shots because people are ahead of the curve already because you can just pay pay to win and this is another example of that and glad he got caught and this is a shame on the school and the coach and everyone involved now listen isaiah if there's one thing you should do if there's one coach you should send your money to it's me besides that Besides that, if like, you want, if you, if you want, want guys. if you want, if you want, of course, if you want. Mm-hmm. Besides that, don't do it. Cheating doesn't get you anywhere because not, not look, the man snitched and he's still he's still getting fired for it. Mm-hmm. Like, that's why I on. said it's a topic for identity crisis because that's yeah. another thing oh, no. I got. It really is. But nonetheless, nonetheless, you know what, JT? Yeah. I, I see your story here. We're gonna skip it. No yeah. offense to Florida, but it is now just a tropical storm. It's not going to be a hurricane, so good for Florida. They get to avoid a little bit of damage. Wait, when did that happen? That happened earlier this morning. Um, yeah, see, that's was, part was, of the news like, cycle. Things change very fast, my friend. What? Yep. Didn't I type this thing at midnight? Hey, bro. It, it, literally, it literally changed like 2, like 2 a.m. Not for um, nothing, but one minute in the news cycle is like three hours in real-time life. So, 
there you go. That welcome, welcome to news, everybody. But more importantly, Lana, critically acclaimed. Everyone, when I'm walking and doing my grocery shopping, they approach me and they're like, "Sir, are you from the Morning Buzz?" And is that Lana's segment I hear every Thursday? And then they get excited. They're like, "What is Lana going to do this Thursday? What is she going to talk about?" And I say. Listen, I don't know. Lana does her own thing. Lana's the man, the myth, the legend. Lana is on a, on a separate planet because Lana does what Lana does. And now, bringing it back. Lana does what Lana wants. We did it in the summer. We did it in the spring. And now we do it in the in the winter or in the fall. Lana, take it away. Here's my answer. Thank you. So I just like to point out, I was begged to do this, to talk about this movie by As George. Should. Tell him. And he's not even here. Let it out, Lana. Continue. Continue. Okay, like, Roast this man. This you should have been... love for the community. Okay. Go on. I will. Yes, this movie does deserve to be talked about. But he kept calling me. Um, what was it? Can't even remember. <laughs> Candace Owens. No. <laughs> Halloween. I dressed up as Chica, and he kept calling me Big Bird just to annoy me. And I threatened to not talk about this movie if he continued to do it. Hey, and he hey, so you were going to disrespect black hey. people because you kept on being referred wow. to as Big Bird? Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> JT, you're letting it fly I... today. <laughs> Very quickly, though, Lana. George, if you're listening, if you're watching, if you watch in the future, shame you, on you. You shame, shame, shame. are a jabroni. I go to Wakanda and no. Oh, yeah, man. No, no, no. I mean, listen, I was there. He was begging. He was practically on his knees. Oh, Lana, please. I just want to talk about Black Panther. And he had the audacity to say, it's hard getting up early. <laughs> Two okay, days in a row. Listen, listen. I don't know what I'm going to do. I just Isaiah, can't do it. And then he Isaiah. had to call the man, the myth, the legend. That is Cam. And Cam, we appreciate you coming in because you are Enough. MVP. Um, But man, George. Might have the L today, and there's some stiff com- uh, competition that we've already talked about on the show. Yeah, shout, shout out, shout Are out. Are you Oregon. comparing George to Herschel Walker? Hey, no, I didn't say it, but if you want to put one on one, together, that's tough. That's well, tough. All jokes aside, George, you're great. I hope you're doing okay. Yeah, George, um, we appreciate you. And I was going to talk about this movie, whether or not. Oh, also, because I was going to be here too. So, yeah. oh. you don't even like Marvel. Your favorite movie is Ultron. <laughs> Stop it, it. It's the best one out of the. Um, Avengers. Shut up. Uh, Lana, take it away. We only need to talk some some new movies. Yeah. So our big one for this week is Black Panther: Wakanda Forever, which comes out tomorrow, and it's rated PG thirteen in theaters. Oh, you we can't were... see it. Huh? What? You can't see it then. No, she's not, huh? baby. I. What? I'm not sure what he said. You can't <laughs> see it because you're a child. Oh. It's too dangerous. Oh. Oh. Well, I need adult oh. to come with me then. <laughs> grandpa will go with you, right, Isaiah? <laughs> I ain't watching uh, these grandpa. movies. <laughs> I ain't watching these movies in a post-slavery. This wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right, Lana. Uh, wow, Queen yeah. Ramonda. <laughs> Queen Ramonda. Shirt. Shuri? Yeah. Oh. Okoye. Okoye and the Dora. Dora Malaje. Malaje. There we go. They- Fight to protect their nation from intervening world powers in the wake of King T- uh, King T'Challa's oh, death. Look, I'm not a, as the Wakandans strive to embrace the next chapter. The heroes must band together with the help of War Dog Nakia and Everett Ross and forge a new path for the Kingdom of Wakanda. Let's just talk awesome. about the butchering of the Zulu dialect <laughs> coming from this. Um, what what did you refer to as the Mayday's Mafia? The, um, the Mayo Company, <laughs> the Mayo Crusaders, the, May- the Mayo Crusaders. Oh, man. What? Lana. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lana. Without Cam here, this is the most diverse buzz. Oh. Even Campbell has a little bit of spice in him. Okay, and- hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to stop that for a second. Everyone, when we need to stop referring to some of the whites. As spicy whites. That's not a thing. All right. Just because you're Italian, you make some shrimp scampi. That don't mean you're part of the club. All right. That's the same kind of vibes as that one guy running for governor in California. And then he was asked the question. He's like, what do you mean? I'm I'm not, I'm not, I'm not white. I'm Latino. And he's Italian. That's not how it works. All right. We need to stop that. That's wrong. Anyways, carry on. Lana. I expect better. I can't I expect, expect better. Be a spicy I, I expect no. better of myself. 
I was really scared when trying to pronounce some of these names because I was really nervous that I would mess it up, and then I did, and I'm really and scared. let's redo it again. And no, 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 no. back turbo. <laughs> oh man, hey, but very quickly though. Lana, or is this a movie that's exciting for you? Because, I mean, I think a lot of people are kind of anticipating what to expect from this movie. And I know critics have enjoyed it so far, but no no fans have really been able to check it out yet. The key to uh, never happy. So, well, you, everyone knows about how I feel about Marvel. Yeah, no. I hate but, Marvel. Marvel takes. But I like DC. I always thought Black Panther was kind of cool. So. I was dead. Yeah. The Black Panther is a staple of our community. It brought forth Chadwick Boseman, former Jackie Robinson. Kept doing this. Is that canon in the movie? T'Challa was Jackie Robinson. Yeah. Uh, Jackie Robinson yeah. also does this. Does he? I think that's literally like that was a thing. I remember watching that movie in chemistry. Certain scenes I have saved as reaction videos. Please. All right. All right. No. <laughs> no. We all know hey, no, part of that movie. <laughs> We we cannot repeat <laughs> no. on this program. Oh, that's that's a job for Herschel Walker. But um, uh, all right, we're gonna give you a chance because I remember who was skipped. Uh, go. Oh gosh, Mbaku. She said it. She did it. Mbaku. Yes, yes. Lord, yes. She skipped. I thought she skipped Everett Ross. No, no. she skipped. She skipped I was going to Everett try Ross. if God. she sat here trying to struggle oh. with Everett Ross. I like I'm. <laughs> that, that's Mr. Everett Rossi. Um, I also this is not an excuse, but I can't read. Hey, bro. Well, we all See, been there. Is, no, she can't read. See, this is exactly why they did not want to um abolish slavery until Good Jesus Lord. Christ. Hey, Jesus. bro, you know what? I love? I love the holiday season, and nothing is better than a Netflix Christmas movie. Am I right? Sorry, Lindsay Wilson. <laughs> a newly engaged, spoiled hotel heiress gets into a skiing accident suffers from total amnesia and finds herself in the care of handsome blue collar lodge owner and his precious daughter in the days leading up to christmas and this is falling for christmas yes. um, that right out of homework that's, you know what that's what i'm gonna say is that is a great movie it's for amina think about amina yeah exactly and it's gonna love this program amina's gonna watch it and amina's probably gonna review it because um it's got lindsey lohan in it Hey, remember when Lindsay Lohan was like popping and then she wasn't popping and then she came back and now she's just Lindsay Lohan again? Are we referring yeah. to popping as in like, you know, popular or popping as in popping we, up Hey, hey uh, yes, oh, yes, yes. Yep, both, double <laughs> entendre. Now, let's get into our next movie. A bar fight comes out tomorrow in theaters. There's only one way to settle the score after breakup and for Nina and Alan, it's a turf war for their favorite local <laughs> What? Lines have been drawn, and with the help of Nina's best friend Chelsea, it's going to be a win- winner takes all affair. The drinks are free flowing, the competition is fierce, and games are out of this world crazy. With the bar on the line, this bar fight is going to become a battle for the ages. If John Taffer isn't in this movie, why are we even watching this? Exactly. Shut it down. Hey, that show's ridiculous. Bar mm-hmm. rescue. Good lord. <laughs> I might, watch interesting I, might, I might have to watch this movie though. Really? Yeah, I might have to. That's appealing to you. It Is sounds it your so... life. Wow. Oh, it sounds so crazy. I had. I just have to watch it. You know, honestly, it seems like you would like that because I mean, once again, Age of Ultron is your favorite movie of all time. Um, you know, it's great though, Lana. It's from time to time, I do like to get the sticks, the joysticks, and um, hit the triggers, hit the buttons, and um. Ballad. Yeah, yeah, we got a couple games. Uh, God of War Ragnarok. How can I say that? Oh, Bro, that's <laughs> hilarious. That's literally, that's literally what you said. Um, <laughs> comes out came out yesterday. Um, God of War late. Ragnarok. T- How am I saying that? It takes place three years after the previous game, and it also happens to take place. Oh gosh, there we the- go. Fimble Winter. Fimble Winter. <laughs> Reaches its end. Is. The prelude to the prophesized Ragnarok. As the title suggests, the game will deal with Kratos and his son Aturus trying to prevent or cause Ragnarok. You said Aturus, but you struggled with Mbaku? What in the world? I don't know. What is happening, Lana? Okay, in my so I've heard In my you... defense, Mbaku is black. And she and Lana is Greek. 
no no okay so i've heard the name kratos and a tourist before uh, okay and baku right. never been baku i've only heard baku go baku gone love she didn't even say baku gone she said baku go are you guys interested in God of War though? Because um, I never had really a PlayStation, so um, oh, I've never played the games. So for me, God of War, it was one of those games that like I wish I I wish I got into because it's just it's just so the action and adventure of it is just awesome. <laughs> but like, it was just like so too advanced for me mm-hmm. when I was growing up. I so get when that. so when I got when I got around to playing it, I was like, wow, I I kind I kind of do enjoy, it, but I, I wish I really got into the appeal more. Yeah, I think at some point if I ever get a PlayStation, I'll give it a shot because it looks cool. Um, now, Lana, very quickly, we have the probably the biggest throwback and yeah, I, I oh, history. Lana, history. This is okay. you don't know what Atari is. I do know what Atari oh, okay. is. The joke is I'm too young to remember it. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, this this came, I remember uh, this came out when I was it was when I was, it was ten. Uh, yeah, this man. came out back when I was never mind. Atari 50th anniversary <laughs> celebration comes out tomorrow. Atari 50, the anniversary celebration, takes players on an interactive journey through 50 years of video games via interviews with designers, developers, and industry leaders, documentary footage, product design documents, high-res original artwork, and curated list of more than 90 playable games. So you got like a whole combination of everything. You get a couple movies, a couple games. Lana, you interested in playing Atari? Uh, Absolutely not. It's it's a possibility. Is it? I, I'm thinking about it. I, I haven't played many games recently. I just haven't had the time, sadly, but I think I would try it out. Oh, well, hey, guys. What a segment. What a time to be alive, Lana. We appreciate you. Uh, we're excited to see uh, what happens so with Black Panther and everything. Well, uh, well, you survived. You thrived Isaiah, now. Huh? Isaiah, this yeah. Atari came out back. Was, 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 Good. Oh boy. Hey guys, we're gonna play all the stars with Kendrick Lamar and SZA. When we come back, we got Ooh, hour two Black of the Black morning Black buzz. Fire, fire.
Um, they really, hey, that was probably Lana's favorite song back in the day. They really took away oh, slavery, that, and you went white. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I hate my mom. Um, Actually, that's not true. I love my mom. I love my mom as well. She's listening Damn. right now. Hi, mommy. Hi, mother. Damn, don't do it. Don't. Do I'm it. not doing I, it. I, I know. Not, given not, the, given the, the, the show has been going. You're Yo. gonna say something wild. What what I what I do this time? Hey, hey, hey I, I'm just avoiding what's gonna happen. I'm avoiding the inevitable, all right? Hey, this is the morning buzz Thursday edition. Hour two starts right now. And we have some great things to talk about. More stories, entertainment, weird news, segments, but more importantly, Amina is celebrating her birthday month, which means she's off today enjoying her. She's over there in our Herschel Walker land. Herschel territory, her. yes, sir. I wonder if she gets to meet him. No, please, Dad, please no. I, I, I really think for everyone's didn't. sake, no. Listen, I, I would have loved him. I would have loved him years ago. 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 She takes a picture with Social Walker and says it went to a bus chat. <laughs> oh my God. Amazing. All right. So let's very quickly cover some news going on around the world as we head to Afghanistan. Sadly, as the Taliban is banning women from using gyms in Afghanistan. This is the group's most recent crackdown on women's rights and freedom since they took power more than a year ago. And then we'll go to state news as a police chase from Philadelphia to South Jersey on Wednesday night may be connected with last weekend's mass shooting that injured nine people. The chase started around 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time when Highway Patrol officers spotted a vehicle at Frankfurt and Allingway Avenues that fit the description of a Honda use in the two recent shootings. And the chase for the suspect went at one point even to the woods. But Evanshim, to, Evanshim, wow, Evesham Township Police were mm-hmm. able to take him into custody within minutes. Lana, you're starting to rub off on me. I don't like it right now. I can't oh, read. Um, maybe one day I'll pass kindergarten <laughs> class and I'll be able to read. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. Welcome, Squidward. Welcome, Squidward. Okay. Uh, now, uh, in today's weather, it is going to be cold. A little brick outside. Because we were expecting a high of 66 at a low of 37. A little warmer on Friday, as we like to say. 68, low of 66. However, with some rain to fall on Friday. Now, same deal. Rain on Saturday, but it's going to be still toasty. 68 and 44. You could probably get the grills out right now. Sunday, the rain disappears, but we're back to brick with a high of 51 and a low of 33. Monday, a high of 47 and a low of 30. Tuesday, high of 46, low of 36. Wednesday, we'll see some showers and a high of 48 and a low of 34. And back to Thursday, one week from today. High of 49, low of 33. As we continue a very, 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 very warm November month. Very concerning. It's kind of weird, but it's almost like maybe maybe we want the cold to be coming back. Because, no. Um, I just think it's better for the environment in this state. If I wanted it's my warmth, I would head to Florida. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree as well. I, I have too much melanin. Yes, the other day, my house was freezing. I'm at such an impasse because... I like the warm weather, but the polar ice caps are melting. They are melting. Polar bears are... uh... Let's adopt a polar bear. I don't think the polar bear would want that. Okay, so I wasn't allowed. Oh, man. I'm the same person who wanted the grizzly. I know white crimes. This is true, Cam. Uh, Cam, can you do some recap of MSU Sports before we get into the nitty and gritty of this? Do people still still say that statement? You do. Nitty and gritty? Am I saying that right, or is it nitty gritty? The knit knit and grit? Knit and grit? I don't know. It sounds weird. But anyway, um, so MSU, there was no MSU athletics last night, but I have no idea if this thing get covered. Did they lose to Rowan again? Stop it. I Hold on, let let me recap of the week of events for MSU sports. Lost to Rowan. 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 Carry on, Cam. That's a lot of losing. We lost to the profs. Cam is on the verge. We of lost tears. to the profs. Literally. How do you let that happen, Cam? The profs? Because they're actually a good organization. Like, nah, hey, hey, not for nothing. You call yourself the profs? There ain't no way you're good, bro. Oh, no. No, no like, nah. here's the thing. They have nationally ranked mm-hmm. teams, and, like, most of their teams are in the nat- in the top 25 in every sport. Mm-mm-mm. I don't know. Dude. I don't know. I don't know what they be doing down there. I'm from down there. I don't know what they be doing down there. You know exactly what they be doing down there. Right. That's, that's beside the point. And it's not, uh, it's not, it's not the big S word in the sky. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> <It's>, uh... <laughs> and now we have a very close up of Isaiah. He leans into the monitor. We got some updates, Cam. Yeah. So 
the NJAC, NJAC uh, preseason polls came out for both the men's and women's basketball teams. Both teams are projected to be third place. For the women's side, NJCU and Roan were ahead of them. And for the men's side, Stockton and Rowan were ahead of them, which, you know, like you said, the staking props. But, you know, I think I feel as though Monaco State's women's team, at least, they have, they have they have shown a lot of promise. That first game they played on Tuesday was very exciting. And I'm not going to spoil anything, but, but tomorrow is, is a very important game. Nikki Carter is going for a thousand career points. And guess what? We're covering it. So, yeah, vibes. For the wow. men's for the men's side, they won by 40 and they take on into college. Another another great, another good team. So we're gonna see what where the men's team, we're gonna see where both teams stand as it is a pretty good form, a formidable opponent for both men, the men's and women's side. But that's really the all MSU sports, and I'm gonna have the Friday crew deal with that. Hey, bro. I mean, Friday, it's an okay day. It's all right. It's Overrated, okay. if you ask me. Just kidding. Overrated um, as yeah, I, I was going to say that. I was going <laughs> to say that. But then I was like, oh, I can't actually repeat that video. Um, So, guys, <laughs> <laughs> let's go oh, on to it. Please. Am I in the wrong? Uh, yeah, JT, okay. you want to read it or do you want me to read it? Uh, I'll let you read it. All right. All right. Well, Lonnie, you have to say something? Well, Uh-oh. I was going to ask if I could try reading again. Really? Oh. Come on, breaking news. Random sound effects. Wait for it. Hey, Lauren. Well, I don't even know. That's really Lauren. You introduced her favorite one. Is that really? <laughs> oh, she stinks, doesn't she? She's an absolute worst. Well, she showers a little bit. Hey, pour one out for Pepe really quick. Remember him? Yeah, you know. Cheese and peas to Pepe. That like when you dumb pumpkin. Hey, bro. He's a lot delicious. of people doing it these days. Um, so yeah, like Herschel Walker. Hey, not Herschel. Ooh, he took a lot actually. Apparently. Whoa! Uh, hey, hey, we're Whoa. getting into crazy territory. Everyone, calm down, Lana. It's been a very feral buzz today. <laughs> it has. Well, why? Be, why are you saying that word? I had heard that word two days ago for the first time. I don't like it. I don't like this whole feral thing. You've never heard the word feral. No, and it came across like, what does that even mean? Like feral. I I think of Will Ferrell, the actor. But to be in a state of feral sounds ridiculous. I don't, like funny. That. I don't like that one bit. Yeah, it's Lana. Been a, it's been a new program. Hey, program's I, I, an iconic word, actually, right now. People are saying it. I'm being approached at, at, and shop, right? Someone says, you're the program guy? I'm like, absolutely. Absolutely, that's me. Lana, uh, am I in the wrong? Reoccurring segment. We'd love to hear what the, uh, what the story is. Of course. Am I in the wrong for being a bad influence at dinner with my boyfriend's family? Oh. My boyfriend is pretty mad at his parents over this, but some of his siblings and his parents think I was a jerk. So here we are. I, a 29 female, am a pro boxer, though probably in my last year or two of active competing now. My boyfriend, a 35 year old male, is really supportive of my career and he's a total gem. We live on the opposite coast from his family and he has a pretty sour relationship with his dad for years, so I've never met them. Over the last year, though, his parents have been making efforts to patch things up, so when he mentioned that we were going to be in a nearby city to them for one of my matches, they wanted to get together for a family dinner. I was actually kind of excited about it. I don't have family, and his family is huge, so I always wondered what that was like. We originally tried to schedule the dinner for before the match because I took I look a mess for a couple days after a match sometimes but they had a conflict so we set it up for a couple days after before we flew out to give me some recovery time i actually didn't get that badly banged up but there's just no hiding face bruises and cuts my boyfriend already gave the parents a heads up about what to expect but i don't <laughs> think they took it seriously we get there and his mom looks really uncomfortable and his dad is just like staring at me some of his siblings and their families were there and I get mobbed by the nieces and nephews who all had about a million questions and that's where I might have messed up. I told them about boxing, that I showed them a video and showed them a video on my phone of part of my fight so they would understand why I looked hurt and assured them I was fine. It evidently impressed the heck out of a couple of nieces because they spent the entire dinner asking me questions and were kind of amazed that girls can do stuff like that. His dad tried to shift the conversation several times and got pretty annoyed about it and then said it was good I was thinking about retiring and getting on with a real life soon and I would have to time to get a household together to start a family with boyfriend. 
I told him that at most I would shift into being a trainer and I've already got the life I want. His mom made a comment about it being a shame. I was bruising up my pretty face and I joked this was my winner face. She said she should have seen the other woman. The whole thing was just uncomfortable and weird, except for the kids and one of his sisters. When we got home, boyfriend checked his text and immediately called and yelled at his parents. I found out later that his mom told him I was really inappropriate and a bad influence on the kids. One of his brothers asked if he was going to bring, quote, barbarian Barbie back to Christmas because his kids were bouncing off the walls. But his cool sister told him their daughter was already asking when Auntie OP was coming back. It really has caused a major problem between my boyfriend and his parents. And I'm wondering if I should have just kept the boxing stuff to myself. I don't even know. How would you even keep the boxing part to yourself? Yo, real quickly though, Barbarian Barbie, that's a great nickname. Isn't it? I was like, that's kind of like Barbarian Barbie. That's that's clever. I would make that my IG. That's clever. That was clever. That was clever. Thank (laughs) you. But uh, yet another example of how you know, just because you might be the elder does not mean you deserve a lick of my respect. Yeah. Does that mean, you know, a lick of what you're talking about? Exactly. Maybe, maybe her and mommy should get into ring together. Oh, catch these hands. I think this is another case of out of touch elderly people Um, yet again, because I think the fact that they're saying things like, why would you bruise up such a pretty face? It's like, bro, if she's enjoying her life, she's finding her passion and, and she's yeah. happy and she's clearly enjoying herself. She's making good money, I imagine, too. And clearly she's willing to keep doing it. Like she's pretty bruised up, maybe even prettier bruised up. Yeah. Else. It's just like. Yeah, finish your point. Finish your point. Ooh, I because... don't know. These type of stories always, you know, tell no. me a little bit. It's just... What I was going to say is this. First off, your your nieces. The nieces right there, they're one, they're inspired right there because like, wow, there's there's more to this world than just you know what, what grandpa or mom got what mom, daddy, grandpa said. There's more to the world. You're offering more to the world more often for, for those for those little girls right there, allowing them to you know dream big. Actually, one of my I actually have a teacher of mine who I told her I was going, I was, you know, I got into radio stuff, and her daughter, she she was inspired to be a part of that because. No, she didn't really think there's many opportunities, and now I'm like 90 percent sure that she she'll, she'll still come to my Claire because the opportunities that we have provided a lot. You don't understand how much how much influence stuff like this has on people, and I think that for someone, especially when when the when the dad said, you know, why don't you why don't you you know start start a family? Forget it. If you happy with what you're doing, right right then and there, cool. And I understand that that you know they're probably they're probably older, but at the same time it's like, bro, you gotta you, just, you gotta accept you gotta you know, show love and accept this because at the end, of, yo, your son's happy with her. Your 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 nieces your grandkids are happy. It's like there there's not there's not much more not no there's no negatives to this. Well, here's the problem, Cam. It's just the fact that she's rotting the minds of these children. Who were perfectly fine, and she's putting violence into their mind? Are you kidding me? Yo, Just so kidding. was Ariel. Here's the thing: there's a there's a Black Little Mermaid, and people had an issue with that. People have an issue with a Black Little Mermaid. It's a I, you know what I like though was like the people doing like the fake responses of them seeing that Ariel was black for the first time. It was like this one grown lady, and she's like, "Oh my god, she's black!" And then that was it. Like, so many. Ah, uh, what a time it, to be alive, guys! Like, like, what, we in one, one buzz, we get rid of slavery. We touch upon Herschel Walker, and now, that was, that was an now one. mermaids are black. What is this world coming to? <laughs> what is this world Same coming like to? That. It's like the uprising of the of, of the melanin. Stop I, right. The wow. uprising of the melanin will not happen today. It won't what? happen tomorrow, and it won't happen yesterday, all right? We are done with the uprising <laughs> of, of that, all right? I brought wow. a white American am appalled at this. <laughs> you, are far, you, are far, you are far from that. Hey, bro. Oh, well, we'll this. discuss during the break, guys. We're going to take a quick break here. On the oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, no, she's not in the wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not in the wrong. I think everyone could agree on that. I mean, that, that, that one was, that was easy. That was, that was, that was, that was Parents easy. trashy. Um, so we're going to take a break. Listen to some music. When we come back, we got some Snoop Dogg stories. That's the melody.
on the morning buzz, guys. What a time to be alive as we enter the final 40 minutes of this show. Guys, over to break Lana learned what the word melanin means, and now she is blown away. Hey, bro, we've we've learned a lot about today. Today has been a very interesting show. I, I gotta be honest, I don't think we'll ever have a show like, like this. this ever again. It's February already. Oh, Jesus, no. <laughs> God, come on, GT, <laughs> please <laughs> make it stop. Um, hey, guys, let's talk about Side Mission Snoop again. Um, all right. Universal Pictures, who made uh, Straight Outta Compton, is getting their hands on another race Coast story. The movie-making giant announced yesterday that the studio is developing a film about Snoop Dogg's life. Now, the film is said to be produced by Snoop himself and be written by Joe Robert Cole, who co-wrote the two Black Panther films and is set to be directed by Alan Hughes, the filmmaker of Menace to Society. Oh, great Snoop movie. said, quotes, I waited a long time to put this project together because I wanted to choose the right director, the perfect writer, and the greatest movie company I could partner with that could understand the legacy that I'm trying to portray on, on screen. And the memory I'm trying to leave behind. It was a perfect marriage. It was holy matrimony, not holy macaroni, end quote. Donna Langley, chairman of Universal Film Entertainment Group, said she met with Snoop shortly after he acquired Death Row Records to begin negotiations on this film. Guys, um, that's a beautiful, that's a beautiful trio. That really is, because have you guys seen Straight Outta Compton? Yes. Yeah. I, have, I, have, I have it on, uh, on Prime Video. Yeah, I saw it in theaters, and then I, I also got it on DVD. Remember DVDs, guys? Um, yeah. Yeah. Because I thought it was that good of a movie. I think What's it's, like, DVD? one of the best. Uh, oh, so there's, like, this circular disc. No. Um, but I thought it was one of, like, the best biopics that I've seen. Uh, just because, oh, one, the God. music's great in it. The storyline was really good. Um, like, yo, and all the acting was great in it as well. Uh, and I really enjoyed the whole story of it. And uh, I'm excited to see what they do with Snoop's story. Have you ever seen Medicine Society? That yes. I don't remember if I have JT, or is it that movie. that movie is great. That's that's probably that's probably one of the greatest bro. It's probably one of the greatest hood movies of all time. Mm. <laughs> Lana's actually in uh, I, I should Men show you the scene that I'm referring to after this. You might not want a cheeseburger after that. Oh, hey, who's McChicken? Who's, 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 who's um, hey guys, so let's Udo? go ahead and move on to the next one. I'm sure everyone's excited to see what Snoop's got us uh, in the future for for us. It's just the way Snoop is doing everything. Really, he literally has done I think anything a human could possibly do at this point. That's why well, I said he's probably going to run for president, bro. The I'm going to be like, you want to know something I haven't done. I haven't run for office. Mm -hmm. Snoop is shocked. Twenty. That, Snoop is shocked for president. Close. Snoop would literally go we, to we, his. We up. got. We have to stop saying that would be cool, Lana. This is problematic. <laughs> Snoop would there, literally go there. to his presidential debate using a blunt. Like he would literally be up there on national television with a roll up in his hand while he's debating politics, and it would just be the most iconic thing ever. We so, oh, that, 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 that's 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 scary. Mm -mm -mm. Roll, roll, roll another roll. one. Campbell's, um, <laughs> Campbell's soup. Yeah, because that's the that's the slogan from Campbell's soup. Every time you do that, roll another one. No, mm -mm -mm. that's the. Slogan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that really their slogan? That's part of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought it was, mm -hmm. it was like that. <laughs> the flavors um, are melting on my tongue. <laughs> almost says this. Shaq and Snoop twenty. Shaq and Snoop twenty twenty four. Shaq, Snoop, and Soup, guys. That's the stories that you're getting here on the morning bus today. Uh, now, Jack, Snoop, let's transition <laughs> on to Wakanda Forever. Oh, my God. We're getting all the culture news today. Advanced tickets to Sunday for Black Panther Wakanda Forever. I stand at about 45 Can, Wait, hold on. Can you repeat that? That was not a, near your best work of accent. Wakanda Forever. That's the forever part that's throwing me off. Why are you saying, like, forever? Wakanda Forever. Wakanda forever. Say it, say it differently, please. Stop making me giggle. <laughs> <laughs> they stand at about forty-five million dollars and about twenty percent behind Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness at the same point in time, and about forty percent ahead of Thor: Love and Thunder, the worst multiverse movie of all. Hey. That was a pretty good movie. Oh, no, no movie. hold on. We will not say that. I will that was that. the worst multiverse movie I've ever seen in my life. You're because that, yo. here's the thing. A multiverse movie 
how many times did they travel to a different dimension? Period? Okay, that's the problem. That's the whole no, idea no, 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 of no. the movie. That is the you problem. Can't, if it's y'all were hold on. no, they went four minutes. Y'all were expecting Hugh Jackman. No, y'all no, no, were no, no, expecting. No, 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 no. Oh, but y'all were expecting. I wasn't like, expecting any character. You remember that one? JT, time? JT, JT. I wasn't expecting any character. Uh huh. I was expecting them to explore different worlds. That's all I wanted because that's what a multiverse is. You travel to different lands and they put literally a 30 second clip of like him and I forget the other character's name. America Chavez, that's her name. So um, they had they explore Mexican multiverse actress. for literally 30 seconds in one shot pretty much. And then they never did it again. They, uh, I think the funny part you is- You can't that. call it a multiverse movie if you're not going to travel through a bunch of multiverses throughout the film. It's a two hour movie. How oh. many multiverses do you think- Have you seen an episode of Rick and Morty? <laughs> that's why Rick and Morty sucks. And I said it. Rick and Morty wow, is for that's just, that, that's just got, That's it. That's got, that's got, that's got, that's got, that's got read the story. Read, read, read the story. <laughs> Isaiah's, no, hurt. Isaiah's, story Isaiah's hurt. Isaiah's hurt. Isaiah's, Isaiah's hurt. I just want to- my thing is, I've never heard anyone back that argument for multiverse of madness. That's all I'm gonna say. No one has ever said. Yes. I'm glad they didn't explore multiverse. You ever seen um that one Power Rangers movie where they just bring every single season together, like twelve different seasons of oh, Power Rangers? If you don't just start like, reading the story, that's what you were expecting for multiverse of madness. No, what I wanted is for them to actually do. It's like having Harry Potter and no one does magic. What are you talking? Except about? no, literally, like no one does magic for like ten seconds. That's what happened in Multiverse of Madness. It was across different multiverses. It was, they really One time. They, yeah. There's three multiverses in there. There's our uh, universe, the one we know of. There's the main one that was explored. And then there was a second one. Wanda had to uh, sleepwalk or whatever the term was three times in the movie. Doctor Strange me, me, had to do the same me, thing me, at the end. Me, me, me. So you, sir, are wrong. Anyway. Bro, movie was whack. Let's, Let's talk Wakanda. Yeah. Let's talk an actual good movie now. Nah, like Doctor Strange is a good movie and I'll stay in my Before debuting to 202 million dollars over three days in february 2018 black panther had 55 million in advanced tickets while the pre-sale tickets may be lower than expected the sequel is expected to have massive success with the walk-up business wakanda forever is expected to open to 175 million to 185 million for a projected global of 355 million and 365 million as of now rotten tomatoes critic scores that usually mean nothing at all stand at 90 percent Ticket sales aren't front-loaded for Black Panther 2 or, and are evenly spread out throughout the upcoming holiday weekend. 52% of K-12 schools are off for Friday for Veterans Day, so look for a boost stateside at the box office. You know what? We're in the right direction. We abolished slavery, and now we're taking off school so we can watch Black Panther. Hey, that's two big W's right there. Yo, no more slavery. Everyone go watch out. Black Panther. This is a, this is a rare, a rare American is a very W. Great does, that, does that count? As reparations, you know oh. what? This is like it is close, I, close. I think it's United close. States of America is yeah. now converting into Ugandan territory. We should, we should we're, we're not. We're not going to do this, guys. We're not going to do. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. We're not going to do it. Um, <laughs> hey guys, I'm excited though. For I, I kind of have two opinions about Black Panther two. Uh, I'm interested to see where the storyline goes. Pardon me, wishes there wasn't another Black Panther two though, just because I really like T'Challa. And it's, like, it's going to be weird not... I didn't like Chadwick Boseman. No, no, no. Super Mother unpopular history. opinion. They should have recast it. No, no. They really should have. I uh, really so don't think... Chadwick's brother I think one, it's himself. too soon. Two, it's just like... it's it Chadwick's seems, brother himself said... It comes across as bad taste, I think. No. I think that's why they didn't. But yeah. if we're talking... They about, made the right decision. If no, like they made the right decision PR-wise. But well, if you're well, that's ninety percent of the battle, if, if you're, you're gonna, gonna release keep a movie up like with that. like the story, and like you gotta understand the reason Marvel is so successful is they plan these things nah, years bro. and years. My thing is this is advance. like how would you even explain that on in the movie? They've done it. Yeah, like, like, no, nah, they've done it. No, but like we no, all the, remember, the actor, Ambiv isn't Ambiv the, anymore. The, the, actor, the, actor didn't, listen, the actor didn't no. die. Yeah, yeah, like, still Ambiv to me. Here's the thing, JT. It's a character. Jason, you gotta understand, this is the first time a major Marvel star died. Like, how could, like, Charles Bozeman as the child is like, had, had Robert Downey Jr. passed away during any of the Iron Man movies. Yeah, it's like throwing Tom Cruise they, in there. It's they, just they, like weird. they could have you done can't. that. No. They did that with nah, Rhodey. 
They there's just no way it would happen. They did it with Rhodey. Who was Rhodey? Different though. That was completely different. Uh, that Tyler was completely War Machine. War Machine. War Machine. Uh, Iron Man's friend. That was War Machine. War Machine. They, 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 they had Don Cheadle play with Rhodey. Oh, play. that's right. So, here's why. That was that was completely. I see what you mean because they've done it before and it worked out much better. But at the same time, but also he didn't die in real life. Uh, at the same time, it's like it's different. I think they just recasted him. It's like I think I get. I think everybody's so caught up. This is one of those things where everybody so else caught up is more, on him dying. No, this is one of those situations where everybody else is more concerned about something. Ter- his brother, Chadwick's brother, has recently said, "I think they could have recasted him. I genuinely think Chadwick Chadwick would have wanted the legacy of T'Challa to live on." I don't care what his brother has to say. And that's the problem. <laughs> Y'all are like, you know what? It's matter no, it's just like, it's weird to me. It'd be weird. It just wouldn't feel right. That's and like, that's just from my perspective. And I, I get like your thing, but um, like, listen, I, I think I, I, his character, it is what it is. They need to just, just change. Like that storyline's done. Like, but you also got to understand that Marvel movies, again, they're so successful. They tie into other movies. If, imagine if they had just scrapped this. Do you know how, what, how that would have affected other movies i mean in the moment no but we would have found out later on down the line how black panther 2 was probably going to you know co- there's probably going to be problems with this movie that would that are going to affect other movies and people are going to be like well i didn't like how this happened and you want to know what it's probably going to be stuff that would have been solved with the jealous character stuff that they had to change last minute because the public would have rioted had they recasted t'challa Rightfully so. Hey, let's What's move on like? though. As um, hey, why people aren't reading magazines anymore? Um, magazines still exist. Yeah, I'm actually taking a magazine journalism class. Of course here. you are. Yeah, that's a thing. It is. Um, terrible timing. It's from five thirty to eight. Makes me want to cry every day. Uh, Kanye Nast, the uh, publishers of Vogue magazine, has filed a lawsuit against rappers Drake and Twenty One Savage for using a fake Vogue cover used to promote their new album, Her Laws. In a thirty-page lawsuit, they argue that quote the widespread prom- promotional campaign launched by the rappers for their latest album is built entirely on the use of Vogue's trademark giving them false premise that the two artists would be featured in an issue of the magazine. The magazine mogul is seeking at least $4 million in damages or triple the rapper's profit from their album and its counterfeit magazine, which is higher. It's unclear if the artist directly profited from the fake magazine other than through publicity as the magazines were not even for sale. The publisher is also seeking preliminary injunction and temporary restraining orders to stop the rappers from continuing to publicize the fake magazine cover as well as damages over trademark infringement. Quote, all this is false and none of it has been authorized by Condé Nast. The lawsuit also alleged that the two rappers created counterfeit issues of Vogue and distributed copies of its North American of its in in North America's largest metropolitan areas. In addition to posters of the spoof cover, the counterfeit issue was also posted on social media for more than 135 million users who actively follow both Drake and 21 Savage. Now, 21. This is ridiculous because one, they didn't actually make a magazine. Um, and literally, I think NPR is a better represent representation of how to respond to a situation like this. Is um, both of them had like a fake intro for the Tiny Desk thing, which is what NPR does. And NPR was like, yeah, it's not real, but like, we should definitely do that. Like, we should definitely do that. And I think magazine companies like Vogue and the people involved in suing them uh, could learn from that strategy, evolve with the times and um, take the publicity that comes with it. Maybe make an actual magazine cover with the two. I don't understand what's so hard about this. And the fact that they're suing um, shows yet again, um, powerful white people with a lot of money. Mm. There you go. 21. Can you do Do something something for me? Hey, that, not for nothing. Did you guys listen to the album or no? I gave it a little listen. Uh, I'm not oh. sure what Drake has going. Fun fact. Uh, my roommates loved the album. You know, I think the, the, the phone. Yeah, the phone. Yeah. I think Drake's last very good album was nothing was the same. Well, I mean, that's, that's a that's a hot take. Like 2014, yeah. I did not like views. Scorpion was there. Your deal, man. I don't think Drake works why with the pop artist. Like why don't you? He's not even doing pop music though. Mm. I like to say this. I, th- I think Drake is the LeBron James of of, uh, of, uh, of music. Now, mm-hmm. what do you mean by that? So here's the thing. I mean, he's like the best of his era right now. 
That's just like one Drake. He could do a pop song. He could do, he could drop he could drop a hip hop mm-hmm. album. Like he's so he's so versatile with everything. Mm-hmm. And when it's all like when it's all said and done, I think I think you could you could put Drake up there in the upper echelon of greatest artists of all time. No no no, I lied. His last good album was. If you're reading this, it's too late. I'm sorry. I, I thought nothing was the same. Was well newer than that. So his last good album was 2015. All right. Well, we don't have to say it like that. I mean, he's made a. Uh, I think a lot of good albums. Um, he has. Um, take care. Goaded album. Yeah, I, I, I like was Drake. Saying, great. I, I got no More problem. Life Drake. was pretty good, but I think his last like thing where it was like, no, no. If you're reading this, it was too late. Was almost no skips. More life was about 70 percent up there but it's, views it's a, scorpion certified lover boy honestly never mind uh uh-huh, all mid i think that's l take i'm not gonna lie i think that's pretty l take <laughs> on that note though uh we're gonna go to our next and final entertainment story but we're keeping it in the music genre did you drop the album Love huh? did you drop the other album JT dropped an album. Ooh. Mm-hmm. JT, you want to read the story or do you want me to read it? Sure. I dropped an album. Sure. Apple. sure. First, we put the customer on the grill. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Apple's artist of the year is Bad Bunny. Global icon Bad Bunny was announced officially as Apple Music's artist of the year. Can I get a Ric Flair and a, I don't know. Two Woo! cups and Ric Flair. <laughs> Two cups and Ric Flair, my brother. Wait, yeah. should I find a random Ooh. one? Hold on. Let's see what could work. Isaiah, can you do some? Bruh. There you go. That's <laughs> it. Uh, carry on. Thank you. He was given the award for his artistic excellence and influence on the global culture in 2022. His sixth album, Un Verano Sinti, is also Apple Music's most streamed album of 2022, and now the biggest Latin album of all time. Olivia Schuscher. Apple's vice president of Apple Music and Beats had this to say, quote, we're thrilled to celebrate the achievements of Bad Bunny, whose influence on every corner of the culture could not be ignored in 2022. Watching Bad Bunny ascend from an Apple Music Up Next artist in 2018 to our artist of the year this year has been nothing short of extraordinary. We congratulate him on his record-breaking year and for continuing to bring Latin music to a massive global audience. Bad Buddy himself spoke on winning the award, quote, when I started, I didn't have a global fan base. I'm grateful for everything I've accomplished and everything I've experienced. The Latin music movement have grown so much, I would never take full credit or say it's because of me. No, it's every one of us, a whole generation. Our energy and presence is always felt. Thank you to Apple Music and all to all the people who listen to my music every day. I'm super happy. End quote. Go bad bunny. Go bad bunny. What a story, man. Uh he's been killing it nonstop. Um, I'm sure that's probably gonna be my Spotify wrapped, is probably just his album. Hey guys, I'm excited to see what happens with Spotify rap this year. We have bad bunny in studio. He's looking at me with his butt flies and oh, his did you just fall in love? Yeah, I think wow. I would just go over there. Yo, so I don't listen. I don't, so, so I don't have Bad Bunny on, on the remix as much as I like should. It's like he has something in his shirt. Whoa! With the purple background. Uh-huh. Yeah, the purple background. It's it's the Parental one looking advisory. at you like a like a kid standing in the doorway, like "Mommy, I threw up." Oh. Can we see but, that or not? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Mm, well, but, yeah, anyways. So so Bad Bunny, I haven't. I gotta play more Bad Bunny because he has, he has a lot of bangers. Yeah, he man. Has, he has Absolutely. Straight heat, left and right. Banger after Bangers. banger after banger. Like, I, I gotta add, I gotta add more bad butters my, my rotation to music because. Get on it, Cam. Get on it. I have to. I, hey I, guys, uh, speaking about Bunny, we'll play him. Take a quick break, and when we come back. We'll close out the show. The greatest singular episode of Morning Buzz and Morning Buzz history is today. Oh yeah. yeah.
And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. 16 minutes left in this glorious program known as the Morning Buzz Thursday edition. It's me, Isaiah, JT, Lana, and of course, special guest, Cam Martin from the Monday Show. Helicopter! helicopter. Uh, they call me Big Purr, apparently. Um, so No, uh, we forgot about uh, Coyle Ray. Uh, Why'd you bring her next, back? Next week we're playing Coyle Ray. I forgot you hated her. Uh, oh, they call me Big first Purr. First it was Coyle Ray, then it was Ice Spice. <laughs> you thought it was feeling you? That's all I got. Um, <laughs> hey guys, welcome to welcome to Identity Crisis, um, where we talk about everything JC, going on in uh, POC grip. communities. I'm sorry, what? It's okay. Ow. Excuse me. So an effort's on the. How effort do you have such wake. a strong grip? That you said we weren't going there. Good lord, we we're gonna move on to the hell of the day. Uh, this this, this what goes on on Thursdays. Fuck me, and then my arm hurts. That's abuse. I am sorry. HR is getting called. This is a mess, guys. What, what an interesting day we're having. You, you know, are HR. HR. We're going to call HR. They're going to be like, this is exactly why we did not want to reverse the 13th Amendment. Oh, Jesus. Hey, guys. The elder day is going for every Good video game Lord, developer out there. Now, to be fair, not all here to blame because... Well, there's only one person in, in particular that we need to blame, but we're just going to group you all together as for this one. So we head to the lunatic Gotta mind be. of Palmer Lucky, which, by the way, if you have the last name as your first name, can't trust you. Uh, uh, the original creator of the Oculus headset wrote in a blog post that he modified a VR headset to explode when the rarer loses in a video game, killing the user in real life, too. Uh... Uh -huh. In the post titled, If You Die in the Game, You Die in Real Life, Lucky said he was inspired to create the deadly gaming device by a fictional VR headset called Nerve Gear, featured in the anime television series Sword Art Online. Quote, sing, sing. The idea of tying your real life to your virtual avatar has always fascinated me. You instantly raise the stakes to the maximum level and force people to fundamentally rethink how you interact with the virtual world and players inside it. Only the threat of serious consequence can make the game feel real to you and to every person, every other person in the game. End quote. Lucky sold Oculus to Facebook for $2 billion in 2014 and left the uh, company in 2017. As for his lethal headset, Lucky said it's just a piece of office art for now. Quote, it's also, as far as I know, the first nonfiction example of a VR device that can actually kill the user. It won't be the last. Well, I guess I'm never playing VR. Okay. Yeah, Time I out. think that summed it up for me too long. I kind of want to test this out. No, you shut no. your mouth. You, you would say that. I'm a horror guy. I like Wait Halloween. A, I like music. Forget all that. This is the genre of people for, that watch yo, on, uh, before Christmas. This is. There you go. See, okay, oh, I like. This going. is real life soul. Your hair. Oh, that. This is real life soul. Oh, okay, I, my bad. You're muted. In that sense oh, that's too, tough. But like, this is just too much for me. Nah, this this is so. Extra, he really man. brought Freddy Krueger to life with this one. He really oh, said, like, this is this is Saw life. Seven. Yeah, for this is a Saw movie right here, man. What game would you play that would take you out? Also, who like what kind of sick human thinks of this, right? And then creates <laughs> it, and then somehow sells it for two billion. I'm glad. Hey, I'm glad Facebook took the idea, the initiative to say maybe let's not murder. Facebook, everyone. no. Mark Zuckerberg probably uses it as a Mark punishment AC? device for um his employees. Yeah. You, you know like, how they oh, just laid off eleven thousand people. Oh, you, so you want to talk smack about me on my platform that I created? Okay, you get to play around of Super Smash Bros. with the murder VR. Smash Bros. in VR? That'd be right. <laughs> With Good the Lord. murder VR, like imagine like getting smashed by Donkey Kong and in real life your head flattens. Sounds like a Saturday night to me. Um, so like, let's move on. Right. It doesn't something? explain like who actually like <laughs> die. I'm assuming it's by electrocution. It explodes. Oh, it explodes. It literally explodes. Is why they was. Oh well, then. Yeah. So you you sitting there. You're sitting there Yo, you sit there playing a racing game. Next thing you know, you no lose. respawn. Literally, it's like he, he they straight up put C four on your head and said, "If you die, you die." No respawn. Who's buying this? That's Dude. what I'm saying. Like I feel at some point, my prediction 2025, we get the first result of somebody losing that game. Oh, yep. listen, listen. Put it on the bingo this, card. No. This is this, this is basically real rush roulette. This is rush roulette for video games. Yeah, yeah. Hey, bro, can you believe people actually do that, too? Anyway, let's move on to um, a very wild story from Indiana. JT. Take me away. A sweet I escape? You. I get you, bro. A Rochdale officer. Wait a second. Who just did that? Me. Lana? Yeah. That's pretty good, Lana. 
I well, felt she's absurd. tiny and baby. Of course, she was going to do a Pikachu uh, impression. And your costume was Pikachu as well. Yeah. <laughs> she she was she was baby bird. Oh, I love. I never really was going to say that. Anyway, the Rochdale officer may have wished he had a Pokeball in order to help him catch a wild Pikachu spotted driving a lawnmower recklessly through a small town in the streets on Halloween night. That is something Lana would do. I'm so sorry. What? It may be November, but we have one final story from the best holiday. Say it. No, I said his brick outside. I'll say it for you. The (laughs) the shameful depressing waste of time holiday known as Halloween. That's me. Wait, is mid. It's mid. Anyway. It's mid. Did you say ween? Ween is mid. Y'all get bid mid. for that anyway. Christmas is like, mid. Even worse, Relax. we head into a state competing with Ohio in the battle of who is the worst. That's right. We head to a Hoosier country. Hoosier. Hoosier. Oh, please get some culture. Man. AKA Indiana, where police had an electric. Hey, I had jerk chicken last night. I have culture. Had an electric encounter. Rochdale right. police officer. Hey, what you mean? Made aware of a rec- uh, a man driving recklessly, driving a modified lawnmower through the streets of Rochdale with a trailer in tow while kids were ringing people's doorbells, demanding a tiny piece of candy. Big piece of candy, if you know the rich neighborhoods. A deputy located the lawnmower driver, but quickly realized it was no ordinary driver. Instead, it was the most rare species known as lawnmower. Pikachu! The deputy attempted to pull the lawnmower over, but the man dressed as Pikachu responded with a shot by flipping off the deputy as he sped away from the officer. Police said the pursuit of the lawnmower Pikachu went on for a few blocks before the deputy broke off the chase due to driving of the lawnmower became more erratic and dangerous, even at one point attempting to hit the deputy's vehicle. Police were able to identify the suspect beneath the Pikachu garb however, and later arrived at his home. After a quick battle with officers were able to subdue the man, no longer in his Pikachu costume and take him into custody. Police said the 19-year-old faces two counts of resisting law enforcement. According to Rochdale Police, alcohol and drugs should not believe that have been a contributing factor in the Pikachu just man's antics. Rochdale Police Department wrote in a statement on their Facebook, at this time we believe Pikachu acted alone and no other Pokemon <laughs> characters were involved in this incident. <laughs> However, we are not opposed to catching them all hilarious the That's statement the greatest statement of all time you know i really expect this to be some 50 the... year old man no on I... drugs driving around right just like i was really expecting it and then i just read the 19 year old i'm like bro you know what's crazy though it's not even just 19 year old a fully sober 19 year old <laughs> was on a lawnmower attempting to hit a police car while wearing a pikachu costume you can't make this up, man. This is gold. Dude, Lana, that's really good. Did you, like did you play uh, Pokemon, Lana? You... A little bit. I played Pokemon Go when it came out. Did you watch Pokemon? Oh, uh, a couple of them. No. Pikachu. You Thunderbolt. Pika Pikachu. I say Pikachu. You Thunderbolt while I take a bath. Yo, I'm trying to Pikachu. Oh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, whoa. <laughs> he said, if I die, I die again. Pikachu is like one of the few impressions I can actually do. The rest is just sad. All right, everyone do their best Pikachu impersonation. JT, go. Nice. <laughs> Cam, your best Pikachu. Yeah. Let's hear it. Oh. oh, we can't even hear it, bro. Oh, this is sad. <laughs> Facebook's getting a very funny show. Hey, we're gonna skip this segment of the day. No more Pikachu conversation. Um, oh wait, now nah, before before we move on to this, bro, Indiana is crazy. Yeah, that, I will never. Honestly, I've been to Indiana a few times. I will yeah, never return right. because internally, my whole body gets depressed. Mm-hmm. Roachdale. Oh. You can expect craziness from a town called Roachdale. Oh, yeah. that, that's 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 oh, a, a trailer park show for you, though. Yeah. Is it worse than Ohio? Um, I would say it's up there. It's up there. It's definitely, I think, on the same wavelength as Ohio. Okay. Indiana is just as bad as Ohio. I said no, it. Are they really close to each other. Yeah, they're neighbors. Yeah. Michigan, I have no problems with. I I've been in Michigan. It's definitely it's all right. I got no beef with Michigan. But Michigan, Ohio, you're Michigan. Go, go you're... Wolverines. Yeah, oh, he's got a Michigan jacket. Heck yeah, yeah, brother. All right, buck buck. Uh, ain't no way news. Well, that's what we're doing today, guys. We head to our friends at TSA, where they found quite possibly the most slimy and gross thing inside of someone's carry-on luggage. Now, that can mean a lot of things. 
and it's probably not what you expect it to be. As we are in the midst of the holiday season, that means families are getting together and having meals with each other. That also means people are bringing some good old leftovers back home, which is perfectly fine because food from your Thanksgiving menu, including fresh meat and seafood, are permitted in carry-on luggage as long as travelers abide by federal packing guidelines. But one person tried to finesse the system. A prospective air traveler was roasted by the TSA on social media after officers with the federal agency said it caught a person trying to conceal a gun. Now you're probably wondering, where would you hide a gun in your carry-on luggage? Well, if you guess inside of a raw chicken, you are correct, and you also need to be reported to officials because that's disturbing how you were able to guess that. That's right. The weapon was flagged by TSA at, of course, Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport in Florida, where officers found it inside of a raw chicken and wrapped around some plastic. The officers discovered it in the Fort Lauderdale is among the, one of the most uh, bizarre finds by TSA officers at airports across the U.S. Just last year, a chainsaw was flagged in New Orleans, and the agency said something called a meth burrito was confiscated in Houston. It's a meth burrito. Yes. Someone must have hit a lot of meth inside of a burrito. Guys, <laughs> what are we doing as a country where we feel the need to stuff our chickens with a gun? Almost, you know, almost says this one. I was going to say Indiana was crazy to Florida, then I see this. So never mind. I, I was in that yeah. segment. Put some respect on Florida's name. I just name. love the idea of a meth burrito. Like, you know, like, yeah. Okay, so you know how, like, there's that, like, um, stereotype about, like, you know, our girlfriend's always eating our food. Yeah. Can you just oh. imagine, just like, you know, Yo. can you just imagine, like, she's like, oh, babe, I'm hungry. I'm just going to take your bur- your burrito. And you just used to it. You're just like, okay. She's going to take it a big that- bite. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. I'm saving it for later. Um, good Lord. I'll sell it. It's real. It's real. It's real. It's real. It's real. Always check your burrito. Yeah, definitely open up the burrito. Make sure nothing's in there. Uh-huh. You know, there could be like, you know, a finger. Uh, there could be a finger. There could be hair. Could be meth. There could be there a person in there. Right? there. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm telling you, the fact that this story came out right after Indiana is yeah, oh, back to back, bro. So, like, like <laughs> we live in a weird country, guys. All right, can we take a second and appreciate before we get to our last story of the day? We've covered slavery. We've covered a lot of like crazy topics and now at this point in the show we are covering a gun inside of a chicken what a program we have i think this is my favorite buzz that i've been a part of in the three semesters i've been doing this wow this is an this is my favorite story. but here's the, the story you guys get some wild stories on thursdays yeah hey hey welcome to the show man welcome to the find show, these man. i'm an interesting yeah. human man I'm an interesting where do you, yeah where do you find these stories hey bro i'm built different what i can't reveal all my secrets i can't like all all this. i could what if you I were in the end dressed as pikachu what if you no, I would never go to Indiana ever again. I'm good on that. I, I, you'd have to probably. Finish. I need to look up your chicken and Isaiah. I would be more likely to be the raw chicken guy than to be a restaurant teacher. Uh, good lord, I'm looking uh, up your restaurant. All right, while you do that, I'm gonna read through my last story. Uh, potential space laws, everybody, as the University of St. Andrews has joined forces with UK SETI, which stands for Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, to establish protocols and procedures if aliens are found. The team warns that although there are no measures in place for dealing with threats posed by asteroid impacts, there's no agreed response if a radio signal were picked up from another intelligent life form. The SETI Post Detection Hub. What are these names, man? We'll bring together experts from around the world to decide how to decipher methods, enact space laws, and anticipate societal impacts. Aliens could get in touch tomorrow, and we must know what to say to them. Scientists have warned as they launch a new research hub to prepare humanity for the first contact. The team warns that although there are no measures in space for dealing with threats posed by asteroids, obviously we already did that, they plan on creating how we decipher methods and anticipate blah, 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 blah. Last year, the Pentagon's Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon Task Force released a report that to 144 UFO incidents between 2004 and 2021, many of them were spotted by military pilots. Guys, are the aliens here? And what should we do? Uh, oh, just like submit. I said in the beginning, just submit. Honestly. Put them on the buzz. Put them on the buzz. Anything to do with us. Good lord. They don't want hey. nothing. And honestly, I don't blame them. Not for nothing. Here's my pitch Aliens, I'm a good guy. I can run a morning show for you if you need some entertainment. Hey. And um, I just don't probe me. And that's all I ask for. What if? Never mind. 
What? Don't ask, don't, don't ask that question. Don't, uh, don't ask that question. Hey, guys. This has been an excellent program today. We've covered a lot of topics, a lot of great stories, a lot of bad stuff, a lot of bad stuff. Well, I'm sure tomorrow we'll have some updates on Herschel Walker and the never-ending story that is the state of Georgia. They hey, might guys. even bring back the 13th Amendment tomorrow. Oh, wow. Who knows? Listen, no, 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 I, I, think, I think the aliens are for the 13th Amendment. What? You said what now? The aliens, the aliens are for... Hey, bro, get your, aliens. like, Minecraft connection out of here, man. Good yeah, lord. Yeah. You sound out like, here sounding blocky. You sound like an uh. 12-year-old on Fortnite. And here at 90.3 WMC Upper Montclair, bro, we're, we're at play 58. Fortnite. Now we're we here at 90.3 WMC Upper Montclair. See, that's what I mean. The we clocks can are very important. And the fact that that clock and this clock are not matched up is what very concerning. Not? They're not matched up. This was three seconds behind or four seconds behind. Shameful, yeah. guys. Shameful. Shame, hey, shame, on shame. this program, we defeated Kate Nixon. We've defeated slavery. And we're going to defeat the TSA. Yeah. Until next week. Let's ride. Chicken guns. Yes, sir.